Hello everyone, my name's Hayward. I'm uh, here in Kasachi Bayou Campground with my son Trey. Say hello Trey. Hey. We're going to be um, just kind of walking around here showing you what the park looks like. Very nice as a uh, car camping. You can um, stop at one of the many sites. I think there's 20 sites total here if I'm not mistaken. Um, it's right outside of Alexandria, Louisiana, about 30 miles. Um, it's a nice little drive, very scenic drive. Um, I invite y'all to come take a look. If y'all ever get a weekend, y'all like to get down here. But um, in the meantime, let me show you around. So here's the parking area. There's, um, I think, 10 spots here. This is the lower parking area. About 200 yards that way is the uh, middle parking area. Then about a tenth of a mile up will be the north parking area for different campsites. Um, this this section right here, if you look around, it has a um, nice little picnic table and some um, fireplaces there, little pits, and some camping sites down to the right. And you come this way, there's some camping sites down to your left. Some uh, trash and recycle bins here. Little notice board. And then right over this cliff is Bayou Kasachi. Water's kind of low right now. So you can see a bunch of the rocks. Look that way, they got people enjoying it right now, as you can see. So let's go to the right and we'll take a look at the, some of the campsites on the right hand side. So if you head to the right down the parking area, it's a little trail. There's plenty of campsites with fire rings. Got some little spots to hang your bags on. You come in with backpack. This uh, campground is actually on one of the trail ends of the Carolyn Dorman Trail, so you could actually hike in. I'm not sure of the actual length of the Carolyn Dorman Trail here in Kasachi, but I think it's I want to say it's 10 miles, mostly wooded, got a couple creek crossings. Um, we'll try to get those here, show you some of those because the idea is, is um, something I'd like to do is I'd like to, I'd like to kind of document all these trails here in Kasachi, just kind of walk through them and take you along with me so that way you can see some of the beautiful nature we have here in Louisiana. Um, we have a rich, rich culture here and some of the most beautiful sights you'll ever see. So um, I invite you to like my page. You know, if you like the video, like the video too. Let's, um, let's keep walking. We're almost there. Now there's a vehicle back here. I'm not 100% sure they let you drive trucks back here, but whether they let you or not, he's back here, right? <laughs> <laughs> Probably bringing up his own barbecue pit. Maybe so. But each one, each one of these fire rings, let's go take a look at one of these campgrounds, Trey. Right. So I'll tell you right now, they're hard because they're lined with a uh, gravel. If you take a look at it, you got a little spot right here squared out for you. You can lay your tent in there. Got a little picnic table here, made of metal. And then you have your fire ring, and it has these little grates on there. You can throw you some uh, steaks on there if you want, hamburger. And then there's a little post you can just hang your bags on. They're pretty cool. They uh, they fit a good size bag. They staggered back like that so that way you can uh, not have one sitting on top of the other. They're a good size little pad. They're nice. Now there's no markings back here as far as uh, trail markings. There's no blazes or anything like that, but the trail's pretty well defined. You can see where the trail's outlined at. 
Oh, that looks like a happy tree right there, doesn't it? Happy tree. So we'll get down this trail a little bit, and then I'll show you some uh, some other campsites further down. So this spot here is some of the deeper areas inside that the campground to the right of the parking area. Some nice spots. A couple of them here. And if you head down from this spot, it's a little, little hidden oasis back here. Let me show you that. Look at there. Who'd have thought? A beach in the middle of the woods. It's a nice little beachhead. Nice soft sand. That's that uh, Bayou Kasachi, that same Bayou you were seeing earlier comes around this bend right here it's pretty slow moving it gets pretty deep right there if I was to guess it probably stood about six seven foot deep and it makes around this way it keeps going I guess for those brave souls, you can try to cross that log over there. But I'll pass on that. And that's the way it looks going back in. So we'll cut here and we'll pick back up on the same parking area, but we'll head to the left instead and um, see what the, some of the campsites there and what some of the creek looks like. It has some rocky bottom, so it makes for some pretty pretty interesting little scenes there we'll be right back all right we're back we hope you enjoyed those now we'll go ahead and take a walk to the left and we'll take a look at some of these on this side now this way the left of the lower parking area is where you come into an intersection with the carolyn dorman trail talking about that earlier 10 mile trail Look what we have here. What is it? Toilets. Let's take a look at the toilets. Want to look at the toilets, Trey? Uh, yeah. I guess so. We'll pass by them. How about that? Yeah, it's kind of weird to take a look at them. Oh, there's a men's and a women's. So bad. Got of toilet paper. There's no running water here. But if you forget your shovel, you hear that? Was that a rabbit? So if you forget your stick or your shovel at home, you can get in there. And the smell is not really that bad right now being that it's Friday look at that deer look at that deer you see that yeah got him on video so yay awesome. so it wasn't a rabbit it was a deer he gone now mm -hmm. This is the second deer we see on this trip. Yep. Saw it on the way here. All right. Too. So back to it. Here's some of the campgrounds that they have here. Campsites, excuse me. Keep hearing that deer back there. So they're kind of all the same idea, right? They'll have like a gravel pad, picnic table, and a little barbecue pit. This one used to have a fire ring. I don't know what happened to it. But um, this actually leads up. 
to the middle parking area. I got um, I think it's this is the only drive in sight. So this is the middle parking area. Watch my back because that deer come get me. <laughs> More trash receptacles here. Now this is the middle camp spot. Not camp spot. Middle parking spot. Dad, Dad, look, look, look. You don't see him? I do. So there's a deer in here. I like that. So from the middle spot, there's a little trail leading down here. There's another one leading down here. I like this one just because it twist and turn heading down. So take a look at that. So from this middle parking spot, you can head down and go into the uh, middle camping spots. We'll get back on trail here, head back down to where we were. Okay, so we'll pick up where we left off on the trail here, heading up to the middle parking area. Now we'll come down back onto the trail. Parking areas are boring. Figure out how to park. Picnic area. Like I said, there's no markings on the trail, but you can see they're pretty well defined. Now there's a bunch of spurs off and on the trail. A bunch of campsites. Doing? Hey, doing great. So that's some of the <laughs> just keep following the trail down and you'll see more campsites. All along the trail you see these little these little side shoot trails right here that lead down to the to the bayou. That way you can go down to the little swimming holes that they have. More campsites. And more campsites. This looks like the best one. I wonder who stays here. Let's go ahead down one of these offshoots.
So yeah, it's just peaceful here. All right, so basically that's it. There's a bunch of more campsites now. Um, if you ever get a chance to come this way, I highly encourage this little camp spot, man. It's real nice, real peaceful. It's um, exit 119 off of I-49, about 20 miles off into the Kasachi National Forest. So get you here. It's a uh, two dollars a day, two dollars a night, yeah. day use or uh, overnight. It doesn't matter. It's two bucks. They want the two dollars. So. To help maintain the trails and hopefully we can get some awareness and uh, try to get some better uh, better trails maybe bigger trails longer trails so uh, that's all I have for now uh, y'all have a great weekend <laughs>